Zinganis with Power Production Management. We're a solar contractor in Gainesville, Florida. And we just wrapped up a large solar project with Nick Moskowitz, owner of Curia Properties. What made you do this? this whole property to begin with? Like what, well, what I mean, I think it started out as uh, like, can we do this? Um, can we make something uh, that hasn't, that didn't exist in Gainesville at the time? Um, you know, uh, through various business endeavors and other projects, Gainesville's been really good to me. I think the things that I've done here, I probably couldn't do anywhere else. So when we had this property and we didn't have a use for it, uh, it just was screaming to be a place for the community to come and engage with. What's Brave Harvest? So this, Brave Harvest, uh, they grow for production for their hot sauces that they, that they produce. And then also it's a teaching space for different age groups. They do summer classes and she's going to be expanding to various other parts of the property as well. You know, one of the things other than the infrastructural improvements is, you know, bringing online a lot of foliage and, and a lot of great landscaping and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the more edible landscaping, the better. So mm -hmm. this falls right in line with what we're trying to do. So we have a nice nice stage that acts can come and play on and then when the sliders are open uh, the the bar area is open you know open air which is uh, really nice especially in the fall and winter we're trying sometimes as a proof of concept sometimes to actually bring about real change you know to, to reduce our footprint to reduce you know the amount of impact that we have on the planet I feel you know that's important it's always a challenge when you're running a business to to figure out ways in which to make things sustainable while also you know doing it in a way that could be profitable so that's that's something that we're constantly working on and you know because I have a per personal ethos you know, if I'm going to build something, it should be in some way a reflection of my own beliefs. If not, then there would be real no reason to do it. Um, so, you know, I, uh, it, it, we put a lot of love and a lot of time and a lot of effort into the property. Um, I think it's a good reflection of, you know, all the people have worked very hard um, to bring it online, including myself. You had the coffee shop and then you had uh, the Curia restaurant. Correct. So what happened? How did you end up getting the off market here? I think, I think it's a great place that showcases the works of local artists, um, you know, and there's also a lot of curated um, vintage elements as well. And it came about just uh, through conversation. I thought it would be a great fit for the property. The restaurant with the seating was inside. We decided to move it to a food truck. Like I said, this property, it's a project. It's, it's constantly growing and constantly changing. So we're always doing different things and uh, and so we're constantly making making changes and improvements for the better so cool. the challenge has been connecting all the properties and providing a lot of covered space for people to enjoy their time here and so I've wanted to do a covered area pergola for a long time and I also wanted to experiment with doing some solar panels as well so it kind of was a two-for-one deal where it made a lot of sense um, combining the both and um, the results have been Amazing. We originally wanted to do maybe a ground mount, and you're like, no, I want to have the space right. so we could have events and you right. know the flea market thing that we do and, and all the different uh, musical acts and things like that. So we looked at this as a dual use structure. Absolutely. We wanted something nice and covered. Two things. One being our utility bills were ever increasing yeah. and the cost of that. And the second was the need for more covered outdoor space. And so those two things combined finally led me to make the decision to, to go with your, your company and build the, build the solar project. Well, we've been doing this project for about five years now. It's been fantastic. Everything is always changing on the property. Uh, with our newest edition of the uh, solar pergola, um, we're just pleased as can be, and um, we want to share it with uh, the entire community. So if you haven't been here before, you know, come on by, check it out. We'd love to have you.